Okay, good afternoon. Uh, we're here at uh, the City Hospital campus in Nottingham and I've got a, a very special person with me, Dr Jenkins, who uh, did a lot of research into pulmonary fibrosis uh, that um, the Nottingham Hospital's charity, uh, should you run for them in the Club Taylor People's Run, uh, helped to fund. Um, so Dr Jenkins, really pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, thank you for bringing us into your lab with all this uh, exotic and expensive equipment around us. Uh, would you like to tell us just a little bit more about the, the work you do with pulmonary fibrosis research? So I think to set the scene, it's worth saying a bit about pulmonary fibrosis itself. It's, uh, it's a very, it's a, it's a very uh, unknown disease, if you like. I mean, it's, it's not rare, but people haven't heard of it. It hasn't got much of a, a profile. But actually, it's a very serious disease. I mean, it's as common as many cancers. So renal cancer, ovarian cancer, uh, even the chemias are, are about as common as pulmonary fibrosis. Right. But the prognosis, the outcome of pulmonary fibrosis is much worse than all of those cancers. In fact, only two cancers have a worse outcome than pulmonary fibrosis, and those are lung and pancreatic cancer. So pulmonary fibrosis is both quite common and pretty nasty if you get it, but people don't know about it. And that's one of the things that, that we hope to, to alter by a cloth tailored run and by other kinds of exposure, just to get people thinking a bit about pulmonary fibrosis, because it is actually quite a common problem, and there are plenty of people in the UK who are suffering from it, and unfortunately dying from it. And one of the main problems is, is that we don't know how it occurs or why it occurs. So people get it, and one of the questions they often ask me is, you know, what, what, what caused this, doctor? Uh, and the honest answer is, we just don't know. Um, so a, a lot of the research is, is based around understanding what, what triggered this fibrosis and why it progresses when people get it. So would I be right in saying that the better we can understand it, the more chance we've then got of finding ways to attack it? Absolutely, and I think that's a, a fundamental principle of anything, really. I mean, if you don't know how something works, how can you possibly hope to fix it? Very true, very true. And of course it was the disease that ultimately took Peter Taylor, um, in whose name part of the run is. So, so the research is geared around first understanding the disease, uh, and ultimately trying to find a, a cure. Is, cu is cure too strong a word? Or? Uh, it's, uh, a cure is, a, is, is the ultimate goal, and we would love to be able to cure pulmonary fibrosis, but what we know about the process at the moment is that in the short term, a cure is, is, the, is not the most likely outcome. So what my research is geared to is, a, is, is first understanding how the fibrosis develops, and then understanding what it is about people that makes them get worse. Um, and then we're also focused on trying to develop new therapies to give to patients to prevent the progression of the fibrosis. So they may have it, but we aim to give them therapies that will stop it getting worse. So although that may not cure them, it will stop them getting worse and ultimately dying of the disease. But the, the longer term goal is to develop a, a, a therapy which will actually reverse fibrosis. So if, if, if you're working to try and find ways of, of um, hitting the pause button on the disease, um, is there also part of the research which would be working towards helping to identify the disease early in people so the pause button be hit earlier in the lifetime? So. Certainly if we have a treatment which, that prevents progression that hits the pause button, uh, then yes, early identification would be very useful. At the moment, strategies aren't being, or that isn't a major strategy because we have nothing at the moment to even cause it. So again, in the future, that would be something that we would like to do. <coughs> but right now, we're focused on you know, understanding why it occurs, how it progresses, and then finding something which will stop that. The moment we found what hits the pause button, you can be sure that we'll be looking for earlier, uh, earlier diagnosis. One of the trials that we are doing, which we feel is very important, is that when people initially present with pulmonary fibrosis, so when they first show up to the doctor, 
we have no idea how quickly they're going to get worse. <coughs> so some people will get worse very quickly, and some people will get worse more slowly. And at the moment, we have no idea. And so we're doing a lot of work to try and understand what, what separates people at the onset of the disease so we can target therapies towards those who are going to get worse quickly and leave those people who are maybe going to be stable for a period of time before getting worse uh, off therapies which may potentially cause side effects. So if I was to sum up, this is a disease that we don't fully understand, we don't know where it comes from, we can't really yet cure, and in decades the prognosis has, ha has hardly improved at all. Would that be correct? Absolutely, yeah. So it's a progressive, fatal, incurable disease, which has been chronically underfunded for many years right, because people have not recognised the severity or the importance of the disease. Okay. So, part one, if people wanted to raise money to help fund um, you know, uh, that research into pulmonary fibrosis, um, they can obviously do that by taking part in the Clough Table People's Run. Um, but if somebody was thinking of entering, not sure whether they should support, which charity they should support, what message would you give to them? Well, for anyone who's ever run 10K, they'll realise what a, you know, it's actually quite difficult to run 10K, and they feel quite worn out and quite, you know, they've achieved something, they've done something really positive by running, even if they're not running for charity, but by covering that distance, they've They've done something which is quite difficult and challenging. For a patient with pulmonary fibrosis, a trip to the toilet is equivalent to running 10K because it sucks all the energy and all the breath out of them. So it's worth bearing in mind as people run 10K that every activity in daily life offers the same challenge to a patient with pulmonary fibrosis. And by raising money for research, we can help alleviate those problems. Dr Jenkins, it's been a pleasure to meet you today. Thank, Thank you. you very much for your time. If you are running the Clough Taylor People's Run, please do consider raising money for Nottingham Hospital's charity for research into pulmonary fibrosis. Even if you're raising just a £10, £20, all of those 10s and 20s add up to make something very significant support the vital research that's going on here at City Campus in Nottingham. To find out more about the Clough Taylor People's Run, please visit www.cloughtaylorpeoplesrun.co.uk where you can also find details on how to register. Thank you.